I, I feel like it's my duty. When 500 year floods hit mid-Michigan, one man set out on a mission to record history. People years from now will be able to see a physical film proof as to what happened here. Using cameras and drones to document the destruction from the Sanford and Edenville dam failures and show the world how mid-Michigan is coming back. I feel a personal desire to keep capturing these moments. Capturing history with eyes in the sky. Tuesday at 11 on WNEM TV 5. New tonight, recording history in real time. A mid-Michigan man is documenting the reconstruction of the dams that failed two years ago this week, flooding communities downstream and causing hundreds of millions of dollars in damages. Jordan Mowbray of Freeland initially intended to show the immediate aftermath of the flood, but seeing the destruction up close made something click inside him. Now he's on a mission and he uses a, a GoPro and a drone to track the progress of the reconstruction. TV5's Kendall Keyes shows us how his work has generated a loyal following on YouTube. And all I have to do is push a button and it'll take off. When Jordan Mowbray has free time, he's busy vlogging. He started his YouTube channel in August 2012 to document family vacations. Up here on some banana seas, we have the coastal kitchen. But in May of 2020, the motivation behind his videos shifted. Over here. Trees are just shoved inside that bridge. The bridge up here just completely covered in trees. Once these dams failed and breached, I came down here to Sanford a couple days later. Get over to the city part and started documenting walking the city. Some more power lines down. Uh, filming the destruction that has happened here. The Sanford and Edenville dams failed. They're a part of a larger network of dams that also includes the Seacord, Tobacco River, and Smallwood dams. Mowbray says seeing the destruction firsthand. The road is just completely gone here. Just all the houses are destroyed made him realize that wouldn't be his last day filming the dams. Back at the Sanford Dam behind the Tobacco River. I'm back in Edenville again today. So I think I recognized the historic importance of the moment. I mean, we lost two of our lakes in a matter of days. About every two weeks, he's out here with his GoPro and his drone documenting the progress. This is my GoPro Hero 10. Uh, this is just a DJI Mavic 2 drone. Um, pretty typical. He films the ongoing construction of all five dams with his camera in the sky and in hand. We're back at Sanford Dam. You can see it over my shoulder. Then the edits all the footage here. at home, uploading to YouTube that alongside 24-7 live stream videos. Bringing that boom and pour it right through the middle. I feel like it's my duty. Um, I am doing this as a hobby, I'm posting my videos on YouTube for everyone to see. Two years following the dam's failure, he's developed a following of tens of thousands. When the dam failed, I think it was at about 5,000 subscribers. Now it's up to about 33,000 subscribers. Subscribers from the area, like Thomas Tebby. It's been two years. I've been watching him online for two years. And a worldwide audience, reaching as far as Australia. But I was really surprised at how much national and world audience there is, too. We have people from Sweden. Uh, Norway, a lot of people tuning in that are experts in building dams, watching what's going on here. He says he's doing what nobody else is. There's no one physically here on the ground showing the construction work that's ongoing. He gets down and dirty, showing views of construction never before seen. How many people have probably stood on the inside of the dam? Other places come in here and they, they, give, they give you the flyby, you know, but you don't get it down to the dirt like Jordan. He's, he's right there with us. Mowbray says he plans on continuing to document the ongoing construction at the dams. He says it serves as an example that there's hope even after dam failure. I feel a personal desire to keep capturing these moments. Um, and like I said, documenting this for history. I know there's going to be people years from now that will go back and watch these videos as a lot of the dams around our nation are being torn down right now and use it as an example of you know, you can rebuild dams even once they fail. Reporting in Sanford, I'm Kendall Keyes, WNEM TV5. And you'll find a link to Mowbray's YouTube page at the end of this story on the TV5 homepage and in the hot links section. The aftermath of the failures and the recovery are the focus of an upcoming TV5 special. It's called Rising from the Floods, and it airs tomorrow night at 730 right here on TV5.
I feel a personal desire to keep capturing these moments, documenting this for history. And that inspired Jordan Mowbray to grab a drone and start documenting the destruction. Over the last two years, he's posted regular reports from the dams. He's even set up 24-7 live cams, causing him to build quite the following online. When the dams failed, I think it was at about 5,000 subscribers. Now it's up to about 33,000 subscribers. But I was really surprised at how much national and world audience there is too. We have people from Sweden, uh, Norway. If you'd like to check out Jordan's latest updates, we have a link in the hot link section on WNEF.com.